The issue of delaying the employer mandate. Now, you testified for another committee that that was something you learned about late in June. Is that correct? June 25th. Well, who, who made the decision to do that? I cannot answer who made the decision. Obviously, it falls into the this. Decision. Who told you that it was going to happen? I actually heard about it from my chief of staff on a phone call. Well, I would appreciate you getting back to us with the information of who phoned your chief of staff. At any point, did Valerie Jarrett interact with your office and say this is what we're going to do? Uh, Valerie Jarrett did not interact with me. Did you think it odd that it was a blog post on Valerie Jarrett's blog that informed the country of the delay of the employer mandate? I don't know that I would think it odd. Well, the rest of the country thought it was odd. Um, you know, there's still a lot of unanswered questions there as to who is actually pulling or who is actually in charge here. I think you're supposed to be in charge, so I think you would have to be integrally involved with that decision. And yet I get the impression from you that you were kind of an innocent bystander while something came out of the West Wing of the White House. And that makes me uncomfortable because we had Mr. Cohen in our committee a few weeks before that. I asked him, are you going to be ready? Are you talking about delay? Are you going to narrow the scope of the Affordable Care Act? Absolutely not. We're on target. We're going to be ready. You said some of the same things this morning. And yet, on July 2nd, we're going to delay the individual mandate by a year. So, again, can you understand our discomfort you're supposed to be in charge of the administration of this program, and yet it doesn't seem like you are. 